both fighters have now given it the official nod. Funny way to negotiate by social media, but both fighters now put their, their head on the chopping block. So if this fight doesn't happen, the book stops with the fighters, not their management team, not their, not, their, not, not their extended team, but with them. Tyson Fury said, let's do it. Anthony Joshi said, let's do it. So if for any reason this fight doesn't happen, it falls on the shoes of the fighters, nobody else around them. So now the realization of it, if I was in Anthony Joshua's team, yes, like Michael said, I'd probably not advise him to do it. It's a great opportunity because the chance is there. But you're coming off two losses, his head, is, is, is all over the place. Before he bought Susik um, uh, in Saudi Arabia, Jeddah, uh, the week before, in that week, I said, if Anthony Joshua loses, the problem's going to be, what is his motivation going to be? Because he doesn't want to be a backing dancer. He doesn't want to be an also run. So, and, and, and so what will it be to, to motivate him? Tyson Fury has to be the only fighter that m motivates Anthony Joshua to make the decision to say, yes, let's do this. You know, you guys might say, I've lost two fights in a row. This might be three fights in a row. He's the man. This guy you're looking at there is the only person that motivates me to get my head right, to, to, to get my confidence, my, 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 my drive to, to commit to training for, for until now, until December the 3rd. This is the only guy that does it for me because I don't want to be an also run boxing for, for the crumbs. And this is Anthony Joshua's motivation that he needs in Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury. He has now put it out there, a nice, straightforward boom. There you are, son. Now, if he's true to his word, he's done his job. He's put the offer out there. He and 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 and, and too far bait have agreed to everything Tyson has asked as for. Now we've got to we've got to wait and see how time tells its own story. If this fight is going to happen, and it happens. This is a massive, massive fight that the public have, have wanted to see for so long. And these fighters are, are probably the only two fighters that are out there at the moment that can actually box and they're bigger than the belts. You just want to see the fight. So this fight itself, if it happens, it will be ridiculous. And again, Michael, spot on. Before um, this, you'd have, you'd have argued. You'd have said Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury's never been beaten. Tyson Fury's proved who he is. Now it's for Anthony Joshua to try and get in a position to become a three-time heavyweight champion of the world. You know, he's the underdog. He's the guy that... You'd expect to lose. Tyson Fury's had inactivity. He's not four. But Anthony Joshua's coming off a loss, at two losses. So can Ty uh, Anthony Joshua pull that fight back in, pull that, 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 that respect back that, that, that he wants? This fight, if it happens, is brilliant. But we've got to wait till it's signed, sealed, and ready to be delivered.